Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the Girl and today we are tackling a big project for me. We are going to be cleaning out my side of the closet. Now this is something that has been on my list for, for quite a while now. I just haven't really gotten around to it. Um, big project here. And I was not planning on doing this today. I had something completely else planned for today. So I'm gonna go on this long diatribe and I do apologize, but if you saw my most recent weekly vlog, then you might know that I've been struggling like hard with allergies this week, like really hard. They have just been out of control, horrible this week. And I woke up this morning, I had plans for what I was gonna do today. So excited about it, literally been looking forward to it all week, actually for weeks. And I woke up this morning and felt like hot trash. Uh, so decided not to do those plans. I really just did not feel up to it. So I kind of just like laid around in bed and took another nap and just sort of contemplated life. And anyway, when I woke up from that nap, I felt a heck of a lot better. So I guess I just needed a little bit more sleep, which makes sense. Um, and at that point, it was a little bit too late for me to go do the plans that I wanted to do, so I just decided to join Tampa J, my fiance Tampa J. We went back over to Spookala and spent a couple hours there. That was a lot of fun. And as much as I was looking forward to these plans today, <laughs> they can always wait for next weekend. And I'm just glad that I did go back because we ran into a lot more viewers and pals um, and, and everybody out there, so that was great. It seriously is the best thing ever in the world when you all come up to us and say hello and introduce yourselves and, you know, all, all of that stuff. Like, it, it literally means the world to both myself and to Tampa J. So thank you all so much for doing that. It really reinvigorates me <laughs> into continuing on with the videos and um, especially videos like this. It's gonna be a chill video. We're just gonna hang out, go through my clothes and all of that good stuff. And we, we're, we're getting there, trust me, I know. We're going on a diatribe, we're getting there. Um, but I actually had a lot of you come up to me and say that you've really been enjoying the vlogs, these sort of videos and like how peaceful they are and calm and, and whatnot. And I get the, 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 those comments on my videos as well. So I'm so glad that you all are enjoying this. One of my goals when I started my channel was to do like, just like calm videos. <laughs> like it doesn't have to be like, oh my God, the end of the world. Like you were blah, 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 blah. Like that's, that's not even the person that I am anyway. So I like these kinds of vlogs too. I like just hanging out and chilling and relaxing. Um, so I'm so glad that you all like them. I'm, I'm glad that you all are enjoying them too. This was the longest intro on the face of the planet to say that we're cleaning out my closet today. I'm really excited about this. Been wanting to do this for quite some time. So let's hop on to it. So thank you all so much for clicking on the video and I hope that you enjoy it. Let's go. Right, o right over there. The closet's literally right there. Okay, let's go. So here we are. This is the closet. This is my side of the closet. And as you, I, and this is what it looks like organic, organically. I haven't put anything away. This is literally how I left it this morning. And so you can see it, it's not, it's not horrible. It's not like a bomb went off in here or anything like that. I keep my shirts pretty darn organized. They're still pretty darn organized in here. My big goal is to go through my clothes and because I know for a fact that there are pieces in here that I haven't worn in forever. And honestly, I'm tired of looking at them. I'm tired of them taking up space in my closet. As you can see, we're all, we're shoved to the brim inside of here. So it's, it's time to go through things and to give some things away, etc., etc. We're going to go more into detail on that later. But, um, yeah, so this is the, this is the before of it all gonna be a lot more clean and organized hopefully later on when we're done here. Now in this video I am not claiming to be an organization cleaning expert here that's not really the goal of, of all of this. I just figured you all could follow me along on this journey of cleaning out the closet. Fascinating stuff. 
Um, but yeah, so, and, and just like my thought processes behind how I put my clothes away and organize and etc, etc. So don't, uh, uh, if you do it your own way, do it your own way. That's fantastic. I'm not saying that this is the right and the only way to do it. This is just how, this is just how I do it. And I'm actually in the process of cleaning my sheets right now. So it, the, the bed is a little barren, but it actually works out pretty good because it gives us a nice blank canvas to throw all of my clothes and such on top of it. So yeah, it works out. All right, we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna literally just start taking out all of my clothes. We'll start with the shirts because that'll be, that'll be the biggest project for sure. We'll start with the shirts. We'll put them on the bed and go through them. Okay, first load of shirts. And don't worry, I won't film this entire process or this will be a 50 hour video. Tampa Bay shirt, keep that. I don't know why I'm taking it. Why am I taking them off of the hangers? If I'm keeping them, why am I, why am I doing that? That's stupid. At least I realized that two shirts in. Good job, Chris. By the way, you'll notice no wire hangers ever. Only plastic ones, which I think are probably worse for the environment than wire hangers. I would only assume Joan Crawford, so come on now. Get with it. Put that back on. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me, so help me. Yellow, gotta keep that. A lot of these shirts, uh, a lot of these shirts are shirts that I've picked up, obviously, from like haunts and conventions and like all of that stuff that's kind of been it's kind of our thing, like mine and Tampa J's thing, is to like grab a shirt from the places that we've been and all of that stuff. So a lot of these I know for a fact I'm keeping, for sure. Like this is a Hershey Park Dark Nights shirt. The very first time that they ever did a uh, their Dark Nights event, which was freaking awesome. And man, I hope we can get back there this year, but I don't know. Some of these shirts <laughs> are not spooky and they're not any from anything in particular. They're sure they're normal. They're normal people clothes, normal people clothes. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is because I do have some pieces in here from when I was working in an office and I've basically just held on to them because I don't know, I guess I just thought maybe someday I would go back into the office and and would appreciate having something to wear. Um, but I think at this point, it's safe to say, knock on wood, that uh, I'll be working from home for the foreseeable future as long as I have a nine to five job. I think that that's what it's gonna be. So I think a lot of my workplace attire clothes and, and things like this that I literally do not ever wear, ever. Uh, I think these are things that I'm probably gonna be giving away. And this is a really nice shirt. I loved wearing this. I guess it's a blouse. I loved wearing this blouse into the office. It was just really nice and flowy and um, comfortable. I wore this shirt, I think once or twice when we did spooky shopping last year. And I had just what seemed like an endless amount of people asking me where this shirt came from, where I got it, etc. And I did address it, but just in case, it did come from Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights, and this was... Is there seriously not a date on here? Oh, there is. 2022. So, unfortunately, I don't think that they sell this one anymore, but it is really cool, huh? I love this shirt. And we're making progress here. So, everything that is on hangers here is definitely keeping. This pile is the giveaway pile, and... I'm, I'm gonna keep this. I don't know why I put this in the maybe. It's a freaking Muppets Dr. Teeth The Electric Mayhem shirt. Why did I put this in the maybe pile? I have no idea why. 
Okay, we did it. Went through all of the t-shirts. So again, everything in the hangers is stuff that I am definitely keeping. It's just going to go right back into the closet. And then this pile on here is going to be the giveaway pile. Not too bad. I also kind of feel like by giving away my office shirts, my office attire, I'm also like manifesting the fact that I will never have to go back into an office again. I hope, hopefully. Fingers crossed, we will see. Um, but yeah, and it's not just office attire too. It's, it's just a bunch of other clothes that honestly, they're, they're just not me anymore. So they will be well loved by other people, I am sure. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and leave everything on the bed for now. We still have plenty of space on here to work with. I'm gonna go back in the closet and bring out some more clothes and do some more sorting. I think next I'll grab the coats and then my dresses. And yeah, I think I think it's, we'll just get all of this as empty as possible so I can maybe even get the, the vacuum cleaner to get on these floors. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll keep everything on the bed for now. Go. It's the blast of the coats. Okay, this is all the stuff that is hanging up in my closet. So we've got the coats and the dresses and some of the coats on the floor. So the coats were pretty easy. Most of those I wanted to keep. I just put a couple of random like little sweaters, little cardigans into the giveaway pile. These I've had again since like my office days and they're just not really me anymore. So that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to go through the dresses next and there's definitely some stuff in here that I uh, for totally forgot that I had like these um these overall these dungarees whatever you want to call them but these are super cool very very comfy they're good for like uh just kind of walking around the house and like doing chores and and stuff like that so i forgot i had those <laughs> i'm excited to wear them again also I have to show off this really amazing dress that i got from anthropology last year and I got the, and it's long. It is a long, flowy, beautiful dress. It has pockets. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. And I got it last year to wear to my brother's wedding. Which if you have been with the channel and if you know, I got sick for my brother's wedding. I got COVID like right before we were supposed to fly out. And it was seriously like one of the most disappointing things to ever happen to me, seriously. Um, I haven't seen my brother in a re really, really long time, like an embarrassingly long time. So that was a huge bummer, but yeah, that's what I got this dress for. It's kind of more of a, I feel it's kind of like more of a formal dress. I'm sure I could get away with wearing it like kind of just out and about, maybe with some flip flops or whatever, but it's fine. It's fine. Other people will get married, right? Right. This dress here, by the way is from Disturbia and you may have seen me wear this before. I wore it to Gatorland for their Halloween thing. Sorry, this camera is at the weirdest, dumbest angle ever. I am just, I'm that lazy. Anyway, you may have seen this wear, me wear this before. I, I wore it at Gatorland. I wore it just recently at Transworld. I love this dress. So cute, so pretty. It buttons up down the, down the middle here. And I just want to say that I love Disturbia. They have seriously like some of the cutest stuff ever. And I have to be very careful whenever I go on their website because I'm like, I want that, I want this, I want this, I want that. It is so, they've got the cutest stuff. So I love this dress. I am obsessed with it and I really seriously need to wear it more. All right, I stopped being lazy. Set you, set you all up properly. The dresses is actually like, this is actually kind of hard. I forgot that I have a lot of stuff in here that I've kept from, again, when I worked in an office. And this is one of the dresses here that I wore quite often near the end there. And it's so pretty. I love this dress. I seriously, I, I seriously loved wearing this dress when I worked in the office. And I'm having a hard time getting rid of it. I literally haven't worn it in like four years, like seriously. 
the longest time and I, I don't know when I would ever wear it again, but I think I'm gonna keep it because you never know. The other thing that I wanted to show you are uh, these little kimonos here, these little uh, cover-ups, I suppose. I wore these a lot in the office as well. That's literally why I, I picked these up because some stuff wasn't like the most office appropriate or maybe it had spaghetti straps or something like that. So I would pick up these kimonos. I have this one here. This, this, this is totally Blanche Devereaux, by the way. This is very, this is giving golden girls. So I'm obsessed over this too. It is so long and flowy and I just, obsessed you never see me wear this on the channel and there's a reason for it because i just don't i don't just don't really wear it there's not really any need to but i'm keeping it anyway because it's pretty uh here's the other one too this one is also just gorgeous i love it it's a uh, I love the color the yellow of it all and the lace and it's very it's very like kind of witchy it does give a witchy vibe i know it's not black but it's still, when you put it on, it's very like, kind of Stevie Nicks. If Stevie Nicks like was working in a, working out in her garden somewhere, I don't know. The pile is growing. I have to admit, there's a lot more clothes in here that I'm giving away than I thought I would have. So I, I feel good about that, to be honest with you. It's, it's a lot of good quality clothes that uh, other people are probably really, really, really gonna love. So I'm, I'm happy about that. And it frees up space in my closet and I don't have to look at them ever again because honestly, I'm getting pretty sick of it. And then this large pile over here and all of the stuff along the wall and on that side, we are keeping. So yeah, we're, we're, we're making good progress. I think what I'm gonna do next is grab all the stuff off of the floor and then go ahead and start vacuuming. And then maybe I'll do the stuff on top of the shelf next and then we'll tackle this part after that. Uh, we don't have a dresser. And we really desperately need a dresser. I've been using one of these like shelf hanger up things for the longest time. Like, wow, I, I think it's been 10 years since I've had a dresser. Yeah, I think it's been that long. And I've basically just been using the shelf things to house like my undergarments, jeans, pants, uh, um, why is this so hard for me? Loungewear and pajamas. Wow, pajamas. Pajamas. There's basically all of the stuff that I don't hang up. So that that's what I use these for. This one in particular is from Ikea and I really like it. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. Target, Walmart, you name it. But I found that these have been very, very helpful for me. However, Really would love to get a, a dresser at some point. Really need to get a dresser. Oh, so most of the stuff on the floor here are in my bags because I literally just had no idea like what to do with them or where to put them. They've been here since we moved which to this place, which has basically been a year now, and they're still here on the floor. So anyway, uh, we're just gonna go through them. I don't anticipate getting rid of any of them, um, giving away any of them, because I do use quite a lot of these on different occasions, and you may have seen them on and off the channel before. I've also got some cool, like somewhat obscure ones, like this Haunted Mansion fanny pack that I've had for a little while now. This really nice little little handbag here that uh, my friend Amanda gave to me. Um, and I've got a bunch of lounge flies as well. This small world one that I got from Disneyland. One of my trips to Disneyland that honestly, uh, it's seen much, much better days. It's got like stains all over it. And um, it's definitely like a gross, like off-white color now. And 
it's it's falling apart pretty hard but I don't really have the heart to honestly I don't think I could give this away this would probably be a trash one but I don't have the heart to do that because I really 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 love this one I also have this bag which I also got at Disneyland um, it's one of those like seat belt bags it's a Harvey bag and it's Snow White I love Snow White she's my favorite Disney princess it's got the seven dwarfs on the inside in there and it's just super 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 adorable and I love it and I can't possibly imagine giving it away really random stuff in here like I just found my library volunteer pass thing here when I was a volunteer at the Scottsdale library over in Arizona when I lived in Arizona and I just started doing that like right before COVID happened which really sucked because I had a great time volunteering there. Yeah, in fact, it says the issue date of this was January 2020. Womp womp. And some of these bags, like for example, this one here, just literally houses a bunch of random stuff. Like there's a lot of scarves in here and masks, old wallets, and just a bunch of stuff just a bunch of random stuff and honestly I don't know if I'm gonna go through all of this today <laughs> I don't know if I'm trying to achieve like the most here I just kind of wanted to see the floor for the first time in a year also there's this bag here that's been sitting on my floor for the longest time that I literally just threw my Halloween costumes into and I don't know what to do with them because neither of them say that I can wash them and I don't I don't know what to do so I don't know I just need to wash them I guess and see what happens because I sweated profusely in both of these things so I guess we'll just do that at some point and figure it out and I've kind of been wondering what was in this bag for the longest time honestly because all I've been seeing is the top of my Halloween costumes apparently it's shoes I haven't seen these shoes in a year no seriously a year oh, I love these shoes I forgot about my tie-dye vans and congratulations to meme my room is now a complete disaster Hooray! Anyway, <laughs> we can see the floor now in the closet, so that's cool. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum. Yay, the floor, we did it. Video's over now. Just kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and actually wipe down the, f the floorboards in here because they are horrendously dusty as if my allergies weren't bad enough. Clean. Or, you know, gone, I guess I should say. It's probably not that clean, to be honest. Also, I put some of the boxes in here that were up top here, if you saw. This one, I think I'm gonna keep in this closet. That actually holds all of my photos, and I think I'm gonna keep it there. I access that a lot, so, I'm just going to keep that there. The other boxes, I realized that I can clutter up other... We have two other... No, three other closets that I could clutter up with those boxes. It doesn't have to be in this closet. Uh, so I did that. And uh, turns out our other closets are incredibly cluttered as well. So anyway, I fit them in there. And God help us the day that we move out of this place. Because wow... <laughs> We have so much stuff, it is bananas, and it is just scattered all over the place, so not looking forward to that, but that's fine. We don't have to think about that for a while. Anyway, all of that stuff is gone. I'm also going to keep the blankies in here, too. These are actually family blankies. My grandmother made this one on the top, the black and, the black and white one, and then these two blankies here are my baby blankets, so... I think I'm gonna keep them inside of my closet here too. Okay. That being said, I think let's go ahead and put stuff up in here next. Actually, let's do the top part first and then we'll start hanging up stuff and then we're gonna tackle this 
at the end because that's staying here and I need space on my bed. I need space on my bed, bad. You all have anxiety? How much anxiety do you have right now? Scale of one to 10, let me know down in the comments below. Mine's a 20. That's okay, we're gonna make it better. I have no idea where to begin. What even went up on the top of anyway? Like I just literally just threw it like in this vicinity. What went up, what, what went up there? And you never know what you're gonna find in here. I was just opening up my bags and I am notorious for like just throwing stuff into bags. Like I showed you a couple of other bags here that is just like stockpiled full of like random stuff. And um, because I don't know, that's just what I do. I use them as storage and then I put them in another bag and then I put them in another bag. So it's like a whole Russian doll situation of bags for me uh, with all of this. And it's like, oh my gosh, so many bags. Anyway, um, I just had that happen to me now with, with this bag, which by the way, I have had since I was in high school. <laughs> I've had this thing for like the longest dang time. What brand is this? A Yak Pack. It's actually made in El Salvador. I don't know if I knew that. But yeah, there's a lot of random stuff in here. I have, <laughs> I have I've got stickers in here. Uh, so that's fantastic. Wow, that's a good find. All right, I'll put these off to the side. Also, a whole baggie full of ibuprofen. That's always useful. So that should probably be thrown away because who knows how old that is. Um, and yeah, I've also found a ton of these little bags, which is always great to have too. So yeah, it's, it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas up in here. I'm gonna put my hats up top of here because I like that and I access my hats a lot. And I don't think I will be giving any of these away. There's some that I literally like I haven't worn in the longest time. This is such a deep cut on the channel. If you know where this came from, I mean, it says where it came from, but if you know where this came from and you saw me pick this up, you're an OG and you're a rock star and you're the best. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to give away any of these hats. I feel like that's a weird thing to do. Like just give away hats. Like, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, like pretty much all of these mean something to me, so yeah, just putting them here. All right, after some reorganization, this is uh, what we have up here. This may look pretty dang cluttered to a lot of people, but for me, I think this is going to work out best. So I have my box of photos, the blankies. I have all of those bags now tucked into a corner because I don't access them a lot. They're kind of like seasonal bags and also bags that are just sentimental to me, even if I never use them, but that's fine. Um, I also put my little, this little um, shoulder bag sort of thing there up on top of my photo box because I use, I use that bag quite a lot. I just want to get it off of the floor, um, but also be easily accessible. And then I put, I stacked up all of my witchy hats and put them on top of these two little shawl things that I don't wear too much, but I do wear every now and then, and I, I really like them. Um, so I got that there, and then I stacked up all of my hats. So I actually have room up at the top, but uh, who knows what else we can fill that with. So yeah, for now, I think this is pretty good. All right, we're gonna start hanging up the clothes now. I'm gonna start with the jackets because we're getting into warmer weather. We're not gonna need these anymore. Not for a really, really long time. So they're gonna go all the way in the back of the corner here to never see the light of day again. All right, got more, more jackets and sweaters, which I'm still kind of using these every now and then, so, but nonetheless, they're gonna go sort of in the back because your days are numbered, my friend. Your days are numbered. Unfortunately, we're moving right along here, so we're going to the shirts next, which is the bulk of what I have. Here is my logic with this. So, we've already got the long 
sleeved shirts over here. So I'm going to keep going with that and put more long sleeve tops in here. So I've got this one. Also, I'm going to put my sports stuff together as well. Because let's be honest, your girl is only wearing this to the sports games. So might as well put all of those shirts together. We could put them near the end here too. Also, I'm going to put my holiday shirts, my Christmas shirts together. There's one other, I only have one other Christmas shirt. It's in that big pile somewhere. So whenever we come across it, we'll uh, put it in here. But I'm actually going to, I'll stick this right in here because we won't need that for a while. And at this point, basically just going to start grabbing the t-shirts and putting them up. I don't really worry about like color coding them or organizing them any more than what I have here, to be honest. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Personally, I don't mind the fact that they're not like color coded or organized beyond what I literally just did with the long sleeved and the nice shirts and all of that stuff and the holiday shirts and all of that stuff. Because I find if I just put them in here like totally random -o, that means when I'm looking for something to wear and I come in here, I'm flipping through literally like every single one of my shirts. And that's not a bad thing, I think, because it reminds me of shirts that I still have in here and that maybe, I don't know, maybe I should actually wear, you know, every now and then. So I kind of like hunting for shirts when I'm looking for something to wear. I don't, I really don't mind that at all. Um, and I don't mind that they're not color coded. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me, but obviously, however you, however you, um, do your shirts, do your organizing and all of that good stuff is totally up to you. Whatever works for you. Some people don't hang up their shirts. I know I didn't even mention that, that fact. Some people don't hang up their shirts at all um, because you have dressers and you are a normal person out there. So congratulations to you. Um, but even if I did have a dresser to put all of this stuff in, I would probably still hang up my shirts because I feel like this gives me a better visual of what I have as opposed to like digging through um, a bunch of folded up shirts. So I, w I would do this anyway, but uh, yeah, just hanging up the hanging up the shirts going well. All right, so somewhere in there I accidentally pressed the uh, slow motion button, which uh, I do on occasion, but uh, you missed some of the stuff. But you know what? It is okay because after some soul searching, I decided that I have a lot of dresses now. I have a heck of a lot of dresses, a lot more than I have probably ever had in my entire life, except maybe when I was a child. So I think what I am going to do is move some of my shirts, like the crop tops and tank tops and whatnot. I think I'm going to move those over to where my dresses were and put my dresses in this space in here. Actually, I'll probably put the dresses where the t-shirts are and then move the t-shirts up. This is gonna be totally different from the setup that I had before and I'm nervous, I'm excited, crying, throwing up, laughing, doing all of the things. We are, we are cleaning the closet, y'all. We're making it happen. This little corner, this little section in here is where all of my dresses were and they were smooshed, smunched in there. And we just can't do that anymore because I keep forgetting that I have dresses and that I can wear them and all of that stuff. So because I don't have that many crop tops, I'm gonna put those in that section. And that is all of these and Again, it did a slow motion thing when I was explaining the whole organization of these because it is different. So I'll just do a speed run through here for you. So these are my tank tops, my crop tops, all of that stuff. I do organize these. I start by the longer like t-shirt like crop tops and then I go to the actual tank tops and then 
the tank top crop tops and then to the spaghetti strapped crop tops. So that's how I organize those. Maybe it's better that I did that in slow motion and I can't use that shot because that was a heck of a lot quicker and I saved you all like five minutes of your life. So you're, you're welcome. The other thing that I said in another shot that was also in slow motion is that one of the tricks that I do personally is I keep my new outfits, my new stuff, whether it's a dress or a shirt or whatever it is, I keep it at the end, at the edge of my closet to remind me that I got something new. If I just threw like this t-shirt that I got from Spookala just the other day, if I just threw this into the pile of t-shirts right over here, I'm totally gonna forget that I got a t-shirt and that I should wear it soon. So I don't know. That's just one of the things that I've that I've done and it's really helped me out a lot to remind me, oh yeah, that's right. I have a new item, maybe I should wear it. All right, so for brevity, I just went ahead and put all of my dresses in there and got it all organized to the best of my abilities. So here it is, the final product, and I really, really, really like it. So I got all of my t-shirts here up at the front, and then I have the fancy long sleeve shirts in there, and then here is where the dresses start so I don't know I kind of had a time with how I wanted to organize these but I basically went by length and also by casualness and then here are the crop tops they fit perfectly in this section and I also went ahead and put my adorable flares here too as well as these guys my my jumpsuits and overalls I, I hung up and put up in there as well. So I'm happy, I, I really like this setup. Starting to put some more stuff away over here. So this backpack, I'm actually gonna keep off to the side because I've been using this a lot when I've been going to Disney and filming. Well, when I've been going to Disney, period, and filming, period, uh, it's very, very helpful. So I've been using this backpack a ton, so I'm leaving it off to the side for easy access. And then this, Disney tote bag here is filled with bags. It's a Russian doll of bags situation. So I'm just going to keep just keep on keeping on with it because why not? I know all of my bags are inside of this bag, so it feels organized to me. Maybe that's all that matters. And then I still have, <laughs> I still have this bag here. Oh, God. We've been going at this thing for like hours and hours and and hours and we still have all of this. Uh, but we're getting there. And um, honestly, I think this will not be too bad. Most of the stuff I'm keeping, it just needs to be, it just needs to be folded properly and put away properly. Essentially what's inside of that shelf thing in the closet are I think I mentioned before, like shorts, pants, tights, uh, leggings, things like that that don't hang up easily. So basically I'm just taking everything out and I'm gonna go through it, sort it, fold it, do the same thing. If anything is gonna get donated, I'm gonna throw it on the pile. And uh, yeah, nothing too interesting. I'll go over how I organize it when I'm when I'm done with it all. <laughs> and ta-da, here is the final product. Not too shabby, looks so much better than before. So, I've got my backpack down here, some of the shoes that I don't wear all the time anymore, sneakers and flip-flops and such, my dirty laundry hamper down on the floor there, and then I lined up my slippers. This container here holds all of my socks. And then I went ahead and took everything out of the shelf here and folded it all and put a bunch of stuff into the pile to give away as well. And basically this is the best that it's gonna be. This is not a perfect system here. I really seriously need a dresser. 
um, because I work from home, as I've said before, and so like lounge clothes, the sweatpants, the like comfy tees and stuff like that, that is my work attire now. So I have a lot of them. I have a lot of sweatpants and I have a lot of comfy t-shirts that I just wear every single day. So it's like, it's stacked behind the pants and there's stacks of shirts behind the shirts here. Everything that's pushed out to the front here is stuff that I use on the regular, but it's definitely, there's things behind them too. So I don't know, it's, it's, it's not a great system. Like also, for example, these are all my shorts um, folded up here in the front, but all of my pants, my long pants are stacked behind them. And I'm kind of still wearing my long pants because it's not quite warm enough yet uh, to just exclusively be wearing the shorts. So I don't know, like I said, not a perfect system, but for now, this is what we have. And then I also went ahead and hung up my harnesses too. So we'll see how long that lasts. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. I think this looks really good. Oh man, this needed to be done. This really needed to be done. And I just, it's just so much better. So much better. And there it is. This pile here, all gonna be donated. So I'm pretty happy about that. It's a good pile and they're, it's gonna go to a good home, so. That's it. Oh my gosh, this took so much longer than I thought it was going to take. Holy moly, this took me like four hours to do. I didn't think that that was going to be as big of a project as it was, and I thought maybe it wouldn't... I mean, who knows if this makes for an interesting video, but I didn't think it was going to make for an interesting video because I didn't think I was going to be giving away that much and organizing that much and all of that stuff, but we did. We did the things. We did the things, so... Thank you all so much for watching. Excuse me. <laughs> I hope that you all enjoyed the video. Um, it, I'm so glad again that you all are enjoying the vlogs, enjoying more of these casual videos. Uh, I've been enjoying them a lot too. They've been a lot of fun to do. And um, yeah, so I just really, really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for watching and for being a part of the channel. Okay, that is it. I'll see you all later. Got a lot of adventures coming up here, as I always say. And yeah, okay. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna relax now. Oh my gosh. I'm really tired. All right, that's it. Bye-bye, everybody. See you later. See you soon.